Help the Workers, Sanitarium, Napa County, California, January 16, 1907. Elder A.G. Daniels, Tacoma Park Station, Washington, D.C. Dear Brother, Today I have been carrying a heavy burden on my heart. Last night some matters of special importance were opened up before me. I seemed to be passing through a severe conflict. I was addressing a company of men and women and presenting to them the dangers of our people. I spoke of our great need of being much with God in prayer. I had words of encouragement to give to different ones. Words of instruction were given to me to speak to you and Elder Evans and Elder Washburn. I said, you have a work to do to encourage the schoolwork in Madison, Tennessee. There are but few teachers among us who have had experience in carrying forward the work in hard places. The workers who have been striving to carry out the mind and will of God in Madison have not received the encouragement they should have had. Unless Brother Sutherland is relieved of some of the pressure that is upon him, he will fall under the burden. You may ask what is needed. I answer it is encouragement. Brethren Sutherland and McGann have had a severe lesson in the past. The Lord sent them correction and instruction, and they received the message from the Lord and made confession. It was a grievous mistake to plan to center so many interests in Battle Creek. Shall we be influenced by those who say that the men who made that mistake cannot be trusted? When I was in Washington, I entreated Brethren Sutherland and McGann to believe that God had forgiven their mistakes, and I since tried by my help and encouragement to have them realize that the Lord has placed them on vantage ground. It is your privilege, Brother Daniels, and the privilege of those who have wide influence in the work to let these brethren understand that they have your confidence and encouragement in the work they are bravely doing. Brother Sutherland is in a precarious state of health. We cannot afford to lose him. We need his experience in the school. The brethren who have influence should do all in their power to hold up the hands of these workers by encouraging and supporting the work of the Madison School. Means should be appropriated to the needs of the work in Madison that the labors of the teachers may not be so hard in the future. Our individual responsibility. Our churches are certainly in need of instructors. Sanctify the Lord God of hosts and let him be your fear and let him be your dread. To every man is given his work. In the representation of the parable, the householder gave the talents to his servants according to their several abilities. All are not in possession of the same capabilities. Each has a special work to do that there may be no schism in the body of Christ. Each is to take up his special place and run with patience the race that is set before him. We have moral and social obligations to meet. There is an abundance of work for all to do. Many are groping in darkness and following the paths of selfish gratification while professing the name of Christ. They have not felt the responsibility developing upon them to grow up to the full stature of men and women in Christ Jesus. Such ones need the help of a kind heart, a helpful hand, to lead them back into the paths of righteousness. As Christians, we have a special work before us, which if we will do in humility of mind, God will honor with his blessing. Signed, Ellen G. White.